Okay, so welcome to another short tutorial on SD25 NFC channel. I have noticed recently that I actually don't even have an NFC antenna design segment on this channel and I remember I've done it a while back on a different channel but since all the videos are now are on this particular channel I'm just like to do a quick reboot on NFC design uh, NFC antenna design so if you go on to www.sd.com um, navigate to eDesign Suite and go to RF Design and click on NFC Antenna Design. Once you arrive at the NFC inductance screen, you notice that you are given a bunch of different parameters that, uh, that you can design your antennas. So in this case, in the particular default values, you will have the inductance of 1.5 microhenry. But since we are talking about um, different antenna structures in different applications, for example, if you are using SC25DV, it uses a chip's capacitance of about 28, 29 picofarad. And that's translate to 4.7 microhenry if you want to have a resonance at 13.56 megahertz. So in that particular application, you would want to be beyond the 1.5 microhenry that, that is as a default values. So here you could increase the number of turn. Say let's do 5 turn. And here you see that the inductance has already increased. So now you go to 6 turn, it's at 4.52, and if you go to 7, now it gets a little bit too high in this point, you are beyond the 4.7 microhenry needed for the SD25DV uh, dynamic tag IC, so you need to reduce your number of turn to 6, and another rule to combine is that you sometimes want to be below the 4.7 microhenry so even 4.5 4.6 is good enough in many ways because you can add a small parallel capacitor to the chip capacitance and that will change the um, that allow you to tune the resonant frequency but if if, if it's 4.8, which is too high, you cannot shave away capacitance from the chip. So it's better to be slightly lower than the 4.7 microhenry. So certainly you can uh, start with a different, um, I would say, dimension of the antenna. So you want a 50 by 50 square antenna. And in this case, the antenna will be smaller and you will have different metric and you can change the conductors uh, value as well the width of the trays on your layout say so it would change to 0.5 and you can see some deviation as you change that substrate you can also change that as well now remember that this antenna design software does not accept a two-layer antenna so it will be a strict uh, single layer antenna now if you are designing antennas for uh, our sd25r readers and as you know uh, for tuning purposes we would not go beyond two micro henry but not so much lower than 500 nano henry also, you can use the same application to design antenna for our reader transceiver ICs as well. So there you go. Um, the NFC inductance can be calculated and the antenna geometry can be shown and you can use the measurement 
and implement that on your layout software. Unfortunately, at this time, we do not have output in Gerber's. Hopefully, that could change in the futures, but at least using this metric, you can design your rectangular or square antennas quite easily. Thank you.